Calls for transparency on the deployment of freeway safety cameras are growing weeks after a young boy was paralyzed by a stray bullet on a Bay Area interstate. As ABC 7 News reporter Luz Pena found, a group of moms is leading the charge. Online, they're known as families for a safer Oakland. In everyday life, they're moms with a mission. We're committed to making Oakland a better place, and so we've also started to really lend our voice to things that we think are important, which is how a lot of us got involved in this advocacy around installing the cameras on Bay Area freeways. They met during the pandemic, and now hundreds have joined their cause. In the last 15 days, they've sent 449 letters to local and state officials demanding transparency on the installation of highway cameras. Their main driver was a heartbreaking story of an 8-year-old boy now paralyzed after being hit by crossfire on Interstate 580 in July. Unfortunately, it is like an awful story, and he is one of many. Today, CHP confirmed they haven't made any arrests in the shooting of the eight-year-old boy and wouldn't reveal if there were any cameras on that stretch of I-580. Governor Newsom provided $10 million in the 2022 to 2023 fiscal year for Caltrans to begin the process of installing 200 freeway cameras at approximately 50 locations throughout the state. Hercules Vice Mayor Dan Romero wants details on their deployment. The cameras are important, but it's... Who's gathering that information? There has to be a hub where all that comes into. The state doesn't want to do it, so it has to be a local law enforcement agency. In a statement, Caltrans said in part, as of today, as part of the initial phase of the highway camera safety pilot program, Caltrans has installed approximately 180 cameras in the Bay Area. Caltrans did not confirm if any of these cameras are yet active. So when was that? So that happened August 18th at 1.04 in the morning. We went to the San Pablo Police Department. Since 2011, they've been using this technology, and they've seen a significant decrease in shootings. Anytime gunfire uh, goes off in the city, we're notified within seconds of the location, and that's when the investigation can start. These moms are hoping more of these cameras make a difference. Here is a solution that is fully funded. Let's make it happen. In Oakland, Luz Peña, ABC 7 News.